COVID-19 is an airborne infectious disease. Transmission occurs via direct contact of infected secretions with the mucous membranes of the nose or mouth or eyes and when respiratory droplets are inhaled. Infection control to limit transmission is an essential consideration when treating patients with COVID-19. The aim of this video is to show the personal protective equipment used to protect health workers when involved in possible aerosol generating procedures at our institution. These procedures may result in exposure to large amounts of coronavirus. Examples of aerosol generating procedures include tracheal intubation, non-invasive ventilation, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, manual ventilation before intubation and bronchoscopy. At our institution, personal protective equipment for aerosol generating procedures includes a water repellent long sleeve gown, a surgical cap, an FFP2 or FFP3 mask, micropore tape, a face visor and gloves. We advocate the use of a buddy system initially, especially for those unfamiliar with the donning procedure. There are posters available that take staff through the procedure step by step. We get the buddy to read out each of the steps supporting their colleagues and making sure they have followed the correct procedure. Both the person donning their personal protective equipment and their buddy should wash their hands and then put alcohol gel onto their hands and wait for it to dry. First make sure that you have all of the protective equipment needed. In our institution we also use micropore tape to help secure the gown sleeves to the gloves. The micropore tape is not essential. We also advocate the use of a second pair of gloves at the bedside that is changed when moving between patients. Other centres use one pair of gloves. Make sure you have no personal items on you such as a mobile phone and then change into appropriate clean footwear. In this video a pair of clogs used in theatres are used. It is crucial to take your time and to make sure you have put on your personal protective equipment properly. The buddy will read out each step and check it has been done correctly. The first step is to put on the surgical cap. You can see the buddy is checking this is done correctly. The surgical cap is not used in all centres. Ideally, in all cases, staff should have been fit tested for F95 masks to determine the appropriate size of mask that will prevent inhalation of surrounding particles. The face mask is put on and you can see the subject is checking for an adequate seal around the face. This is called fit checking. The user should perform a seal check every time to make sure the mask is placed properly to prevent the entry of aerosols. To perform a seal check after properly placing the mask on the face the user should cup their clean hands over the mask and inhale strongly. The negative pressure generated by breathing in should cause the mask to seal to the face. They should not feel a leak around the mask. Then, with their hands cupped over the mask, they should exhale. When exhaling, they should not feel a leak of air onto their hands. If a leak is felt, adjust the mask and tighten the straps until no leak is felt. Men should shave their beards as it is difficult to get a good face mask seal with a beard. When respiratory droplets containing viruses are generated, particularly during certain procedures or by coughing, they can move very quickly over short distances and may impact on the conjunctiva and eyes. Eye protection protects against this and also helps the subject to avoid touching their eyes. The subject now places the visor in front of their face and ensures it is held in position, in this case with the strings around the back of the head. The water repellent gown is then put on and fastened around the neck as high up as is comfortable and the string at the side of the body is tied. 
the buddy checks that this has been put on properly. The gloves are then put on. It is essential to ensure the gloves cover the cuffs of the gown. You can see that the subject has ensured they cover the white cuffs properly. The buddy can help with this. In our unit, we also use four strips of micropore, as shown, to help hold the gown sleeve and the gloves together. Not all units do this. The buddy then checks the personal protective equipment has been correctly put on. When moving between patients, when wearing personal protective equipment, or if undertaking a procedure such as intubation or line insertion, we suggest putting on a second pair of gloves and to remove this pair of gloves after contact or the procedure. Other centres use one pair of gloves that are changed between patients using gowns, visors and masks for sessional use. It is essential to protect yourself and your colleagues from infection. Always take your time and pay attention to detail no matter how many times you have done this before. A further important thing to mention is that if the gown you are wearing is not fluid resistant, such as a cloth gown, it is recommended that you wear a plastic apron to help protect yourself.